Hello, it's Miss Aponte. Hold on. Hi. Um, assignment 44. Uh, oh, my hair. Okay. Let me go over to... Here's, um, we're going to start skipping around because the PMA3 is coming up. And so I'm going to try to skip around on different topics. So we'll, we'll go back to the quadratic formula once, two-step equations. Okay, so we're going to be jumping around, kind of a review. So today is assignment 44, so here's my work. Um, today, whenever you send me a picture of your work, make sure you, that I can see it's in your notebook, okay? Because I'm going to take points on or off with that today. Write an inequality that models this verbal description. So first in your mind, when you see the word inequality, you need to know that the word inequality has the word equal in it. Inequality. Oh, did I spell it wrong? Inequality. Okay. It has the word equal in it, but it's not an equal sign. Sometimes it'll be half of an equal sign, but it, inequality is greater than or less than. But it also sometimes has half of an equal sign under it. So on this one, I've already told you, write an inequality. So you know you're going to have a greater than or less than. Here's the problem. Twice a number y is at least 18. So you're going to take all of these words and turn them into math. Now, on the end of course exam, they're not going to say, turn all these words into a math um, problem. That'd be nice for them to say that, but they're saying write an inequality that models this verbal description. So you're taking the number twice, and you're going to put like times two. Instead of a number, you're going to put the letter Y, is at least... You're going to put either that or that, and then the number 18. So when you get done, you shouldn't have any words. It should be all just algebra. So here we go. I messed up, so just ignore that little mark out. 2 times y is twice a number y. You could have put y times 2 because order doesn't matter in multiplication. But 2 times y is at least 18. So it's either equal to 18 or bigger than 18. But it has to be at least 18. So the at least 18 part is that. Oops. The twice is the times 2. And then a number y just means instead of writing... It's the orange part. Sorry, I have seen it very good. So the order only matters like when you're subtracting um, sometimes sometimes in division. Come here, you want to see people? everybody? Come here. This is one of my dogs. Say hi. You want to say hi? Okay, you can get down. Lyric, you want to come here and say hi? Come here. You're too big. I can't lift you up. Oh. This is the other one. Hold on a second. Now, they get down. I'm trying to let Lyric get up here. Come here. I'm not going to hurt you, Lyric. You're okay. <laughs> Here's the other one. Lyric. You're so silly. You're so silly. I just tried to show. Oh my goodness. That's going to kill me. You're too heavy. Whew. Okay. Now, when I started thinking about this, I thought twice a number. You could have put 2 plus 2, but then it said twice a number Y. So I thought, oh, I did it wrong. So it said twice Y. So I could have Y plus Y is at least a game. Shh. Stop fighting. Larry, you're going to get in your cage if you don't stop. So you could have written it two times 
the number y, or you could have put two of them added together. So it's still twice, okay? Your problem, so then whenever I went to graph it, if I, if I didn't solve it, it would be two times the number y is at least 18. But if I solved it, I would say, I would solve a one-step equation, and I would say 1y is 9. And that's, so that's why I put the 9 also. But you don't have to graph it. I'm just showing you that part. And here's yours. Um, if you look back at assignment... Dang it. Oh, here's assignment 28. Now, assignment 28 was like one of the very first ones I had on Teams. And it had something similar to that. 4 less than a number Y is no more than 20. So same thing. You're going to have inequality. And you better have the number 4 somewhere and the number 20 somewhere. you got to decide, does order matter? Okay. And I want to make sure when you take your picture and send it to me, make sure you show me that's in your notebook, okay? So if you have your notebook, then you may not have had it this far back. But if you have assignment 28, you can look back in Teams. And under the Assignments tab, if you click on it, there's a link to assignment 28. And it was a problem very similar to this. I just want to see who can remember. Half of you are probably going to miss some little part of this. I can't tell you what. I almost just told you. Oh. Okay. Um, and if you'd like to send me a picture of your dog or cat or whatever, that'd be great. But make sure everything in the background is appropriate. Make sure your parents say it's okay if you just send a picture of your pet. Okay. You can send a picture of you holding your pet. Make sure you have plenty of clothing on. You better not have anything inappropriate on or I'm calling your parents. You better not have anything inappropriate in the background or I'm calling your parents. Okay? Um, so if you want to take a picture of you and your dog or you and your cat or something, or if you don't want to be in the picture, you don't have to. But I just got interesting to see a picture of you. And if you want to include your pet, I think that'd be cool. All right? All right, so this was assignment 44. Please write assignment 44 kind of large at the top because um, sometimes when I click on your picture, I can only make it so big on my phone and, you know, I'm old. So it's kind of hard for me to see what assignment it was when I'm grading. Some of you guys get through with one assignment before other people do. So I'm grading like four different assignments at one in one night. Okay? Thank you to those of you who are staying caught up. There's like six of, six of you guys that just always stay caught up. Thank you. And one of these days I'm going to tell you who those six people are because I'm just so proud of them all the time. But other people are getting better. And thank you to those of you who are helping some people. All right. Bye, y'all.